Learning how to read a food facts label is the first step in knowing about the foods you choose. This label will help you make healthier decisions about food. Serving size is the amount of nutrition information the product is based on. This amount is set by the manufacturer. The label also indicates the amount of servings per container. The calories are the amount of energy you will receive if you consume one serving. The calories from fat tell you about the source of energy. According to this label, the product contains 260 calories. 120 of those calories are from fat. If a food gets a lot of its calories from fat, eat sparingly. Things you need to limit. This section of the food facts label contains the items you should limit. Saturated fat and trans fat are the most harmful to your body. Unsaturated fats are best for you. They provide energy without harmful effects to your body. Cholesterol and sodium are also listed in this section of the label. Look for the good qualities. This section lists the carbohydrates, proteins, vitamins, sugar, and fiber. You should look for foods high in fiber and vitamins, but low in sugar. Footnotes. Use this section to remind you about the suggested intake. The footnotes are based on a 2,000 calorie diet, but also list specific amounts for a 2,500 calorie diet. Use the footnotes to remind you about the appropriate amounts of fat, cholesterol, sodium, carbohydrates, and dietary fiber you should consume. Example, if you are using a 2,000 calorie diet, you should consume less than 65 grams of fat per day. Percent daily value. The percentages explain whether the nutrients contribute to a lot or a little of the total daily intake. For example, if the percentage of vitamin A is 100%, you will receive all of the vitamin A you need for the day. Choose products with lower percentages in fats, cholesterol, and sodium, but strive to find products with at least 20% fiber and vitamins. You have just taken the first step in making healthier choices by learning how to read a food facts label. To learn more, contact your county extension agent and follow the links in this section.